Hi everybody, welcome back to the Old Deer Hunters. Well, you can see by my uh, attire, I am not dressed for uh, coyote hunting. <laughs> Actually, I've been deer hunting this morning, but I wanted to uh, stop and make this short little video and uh, show you this new Sightmark Wraith 4K Mini. I mean, I really like this scope. It's only about six inches long, weighs less than a pound, and I mean, it's got a really, really good image in the daytime and a good image at night. Haven't got a, a, a kill on camera yet. Hopefully we'll get a, a hog or a coyote at night and maybe maybe take a doe tomorrow. I got out there this morning and uh, all I saw was bucks. <laughs> None big enough to shoot, but, uh, well, I did see one big enough to shoot, but uh, it maybe it was like two steps across the fence line, <laughs> so I didn't shoot it. <laughs> I did not know how good the daytime image was going to be on this. You know, I've seen some, uh, a few videos uh, online, but not very many. So one of the things I wanted to do is get you some daytime footage and some nighttime footage. So you'd, you know, have an idea of what it looks like. But this thing is really, really clear. All right, of course, you know, when you're, when you're looking through it, it's a digital scope. It's, it's sort of like uh, looking uh, using your your phone. It's, you know when you're making a, a photo. It's different. It's not crystal clear like a like an expensive uh, glass optic, but it does a really good job. Uh, you have no problem uh, picking up the animal. It's got a uh, focus back here for your eye if you wear glasses like I do. Then you can you can focus it in so you can see the uh, crosshair very well. And by the way, it's got like. <laughs> 10 different crosshairs and 10 different colors. So, I mean, the, uh, the choices are almost endless. And uh, up here on the front, it's got a uh, adjustable objective lens so you can uh, zero it in, you know, and get a clear picture at up close or, you know, at a distance. And uh, it works, that works really well. I'm gonna do some uh, videos for you here. Uh, I got a few deer at night. I got uh, some deer in the daytime, cows at night. The different things haven't been able to take a coyote with it yet <laughs> hopefully we got a, a hog or a coyote on video but uh, i've got some deer and that'll give you an idea of if you want this for a daytime optic it'll give you an idea about you know how it looks and and uh, what kind of video you get from it Its only limit is this IR, and it's really not that limited. I was scanning across this hay field over here to my left, and it's at least 200 yards down there to the other end of the field. You can just, all these hay bales, just as clear as day. Uh, if you say if there's a coyote or a hog out there, be no problem to see them. It runs on CR123 batteries or a battery pack, and because I was out there, I expect to be out there past uh, three hours, I went ahead and plugged in the battery pack. When you take your uh, rifle back home and you put it in the safe, uh, take the CR-123 batteries out of there because you don't want those things to corrode. And sometimes, I mean, it'll really make a mess. And, and uh, you know, I don't think a warranty is going to cover that for you. So I think Sightmark's done a great job. When the Wraith uh, HD came out, I, mean, I jumped on one real, really quick, and it was a great scope. The only two things I didn't like about it, it was heavy, 
and you started out at four power and had a narrow field of view. Well, Sightmark has fixed that. <laughs> They've cut the weight down to like 16 ounces. I think the light and the, uh, the scope together on weigh about a pound. And they got it down to two to 16 power. So that gives you a pretty good, you know, field of view. Even uh, up close, like I was filming some deer at like 25 yards. And I mean, you've got a pretty good field of view. Hopefully we'll get a, uh, a kill shot with a, maybe a deer or uh, a coyote or a hog, you know, in the next few days. So I'm really pumped up. I, I really like the scope. So if I, you know, have a, I use a Thermion usually in, uh, at night when I'm hunting uh, coyotes, but uh, in the daytime, I like this. It goes real well with my 6.5 Grendel. And this old 6.5, I tell you what, it's a bad day when it comes to hogs. <laughs> It'll mow them down. And uh, I think the scope's gonna do uh, a real good job too. So hang on, we'll uh, see what we can come up with in the next couple of days.